Hello, happy Monday. Here is your angel message for this week. So go ahead and choose position one, two, or three. And if you need more time, press pause. Um, so as I'm shuffling, I just want to share that this next weekend at 1030 Pacific time, I am offering a class by popular demand, Dynamics of the Dense and Dark. And I am really delighted to lean into this one. We are going to go over all of the things um, that are oftentimes feared, but yet don't need to be. And I promise I am going to keep it super light as we explore all of the different um, dynamics of the dense and darks. If you're interested, check that out. The link is here. And without further ado, if you are choosing position number one, the card is angelic support. What do you know? That's perfectly timed with this class. So if you are choosing position number one, as we just had this new moon, set intentions with the angels. I feel a lot of good news around this, victory around this. Um, I feel um, energy that is moving forward. Lots of Archangel Michael energy. I would also say to um, just take more moments for breath, taking time out for your day, taking care of yourself, prioritizing your day, prioritizing your you time. Um, the language of angels is breath, and it's really important to breathe. I'm also in a nine-week accelerator program that is so much fun for feng shui. And, um, you know, we were just sort of speaking about bringing the angels into your space. How can you do that? Whether through art, intention, breath, air, stones, angel aura quartz is what we had spoke about. So however you do that, but bring more angelic guidance and love into your space and into your life and take more time for you. But it's a good position. It's a good position. Victory is coming to you. Okay. If you're choosing position two, I am going to go to the top middle of the deck. The card you get is intention. Also, really tuned in and dialed in with feng shui. Um, every change that you make, we have to um, really align with the intention. So intention, standing for, I naturally tell energy, newly transform and initiate oneness now. So I would say with this card, hey, Stephen, if you're watching that, um, you know, it's really time to stretch your wings and stop underestimating who you were born to be, have courage, take a leap and set an intention of what you're wanting next. Um, I also just shared um, with the nine week accelerator group, there is a awesome masterclass that's coming up the um, creator keys uh, by Jules. I can share that actually. It's a really lovely um, process to help you get in tune with your intention and with actualizing what you are wanting into life. So I would say position two, um, make some changes in your space and stop underestimating yourself. It's time to go bigger, go bigger. Um, but what is it that you want? Declare it, declare it. It is yours for the taking. And then finally, position number three, the minute, the moment that I get into position number three, I do feel um, just a little bit more dense energy. Um, maybe there's some clearing that needs to happen. Maybe there's some grounding that needs to happen. I am going to choose. I actually feel like I want to choose the top of the deck and I want to go to sort of the middle of the deck. So you get, um, there's two and it, one came in upside down. So there's two cards, both Bagua map sectors. So really good time to apply the Bagua map to your life. So position number um, seven, Bagua map seven came out first and then five. So what I would say is, you know, firstly, if you know feng shui, you know, these areas go to the um, children and creativity sector, the middle right and the center of your home and really ensure um, that these areas are clear. Good air quality is very important for the center. Um, but I would say together, it's telling you it's time to feel centered. It is a time for spontaneity and doing what you want to do um, to kind of get out of that density. I would also say it's a really good time to write, to get clear and to write, to journal. Um, but Listen to your inner child. Listen to the emotions of your inner child. Have a chance to get grounded, to get centered, and know that you are truly complete. But this is, if you're choosing position three, I think that there's probably, uh, actually, the class Saturday would be really good for you. There's probably some clearing work that you need to do, which we will be doing. And um, yeah, it's just time for more joy. Time for more joy. I'm sending you joy essential oil from Young Loving is awesome for that, too. Um yeah, so I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for being here with me this week. And maybe I'll see you Saturday. Ciao.